Hi you guys, there's a shot of the system now. Uh, sorry I haven't done a video in a while, been busy in life, you know, doing other things and stuff. Uh, I ended up going with the Sateki plugs, this is kind of a follow up on my other last video. Uh, and I don't know if you can see it, there's not much light there, but I labeled them. And those are the Sateki Bluetooth plugs. And we can go here to my phone. And you can see the, uh, where are we at here? Let's open the app again. I'll show you some other stuff. Uh, I got the cover off here to show you how I got the switches wired. I uh, just connected both posts here. I got an extra wire going to the switch uh, with, you know, connected to both sides of the post on both inverters. And then you run the wires down and they're connected over here to this smaller switch, uh, which I can turn them on and off from the Bluetooth from my phone and what's cool about that is these things here will go into one uh, they can show you how much power you're using at the time uh, how much energy you use over like the month and stuff but it's only showing the energy used on the uh, the uh, you can see that it barely shows anything because it's showing the power of those 12 volt uh, power sources right there so that's what the Sateki's picking up, not the actual like hot water heater. Um, but what we got here is the timer and the and the rules for like the um, you know when it comes on and off, what days and what what not. So what that's what's really cool about it because now my whole system is connected to my phone and I can control the inverters, the hot water heater, uh, the grid switch everything that switches you know the system back and forth from the grid to the inverters uh, and everything's working awesome I also added that fan right there that's connected to its own solar panel so uh, it, it adds a little air circulation back here and um, you can actually tell what's going on with the Sun with that thing too so uh, it's really cool so you know if that thing's screaming you know you should be getting uh, you know full power on your uh, on your display when you go into your displays and you want to see what kind of power you're bringing in. Let's see what we're bringing in right now. 1,012 watts. Uh, 15 amps are going into the batteries. Plus power in the house and everything. System's still working killer, man. I have no complaints. I added the, uh, the aluminum there. Because uh, if you don't have them mounted on anything, it can be a fire hazard. So, um, finally, I followed the instructions in the manual. And uh, so I just wanted to give you guys a little update. It's been a while. I ended up going with the Sateki Bluetooth switches. I really like them. Uh, they don't always connect very well, being all three together like that. I don't know if they were designed to be that close. I think they're supposed to be more spread out through the house. But it's relatively uh, a minor issue. All I have to do is just wait a second or two, and usually it reconnects or it'll connect back up. And um, so that's where we're at, man. I'm still messing around with other things, but the, the system's dialed. I, I basically haven't done any videos because everything's working so good and uh, everything's on autopilot now with the way I have the timer set. And uh, I have it set up, uh, really, it's really dialed. I, I should explain it a little better. I have it set up where one inverter shuts off at dark and then I have it where uh, the AC uh, runs on the inverters through the daytime like from 10 I think the timer set from 10 to 530 and then it switches to the grid that way I'm always able to maintain the rest of the house refrigeration I mean the complete house minus the wall unit uh, that's running on the grid after 530 and then anytime the batteries are above 80 percent uh, it's with this voltage control switch right here let's see and once it's on, the green light's on, and you can see that this is on and engaged. So the the house now is running. The air conditioning is now running on the uh, inverters. And then if the you have full control of the voltage parameters when it comes on and when it goes off, so that way um, you know you don't go too deep into the batteries. So that by dark you still got plenty of battery to get through the night uh, completely off grid. You know. And I've tested it before, staying up, you know, all night with the TV, lights, fan, uh, everything. 
and the air conditioner is just always on it's on auto uh, set by a thermostat so uh, you know it can shut on and off as it likes uh, by temperature setting and um, that way uh, you know everything is dialed and it works perfect for the way my system set up and the ne batteries never go low 99% um, of the time off grid and if the batteries you know if it's ever a couple shitty days in a row uh, you know the system will switch onto the grid uh, just for a few hours generally or maybe five six hours and then it'll auto switch back to the inverters and then I'm back off grid so I don't even know when it does it everything's seamless that's why I haven't been doing any videos because the system's super dialed now and uh, I've been doing other stuff so hope you guys are doing well good luck with your solar systems my system's been working really well ever since I put it in I'm very happy with everything I highly encourage you guys to try and do something uh, what I would recommend first is to get the inverter you want start with your first string of solar panels and your first uh, what you can afford for batteries and then keep adding solar panels and batteries until you get the system where you want it but you can start small because generally you'll string the solar panels together uh, depending on you know what kind of charge controller you get and there's so many options but you can find a way to start with just three or four panels and 100 amp hours in batteries and just keep adding to your batteries and treat your batteries the way the you know uh, the factories recommend don't try and get too much out of them because if you treat your batteries well your system will treat you well so good luck with everything guys hope you're doing well peace and take care